Hey everyone, it's Easy. Welcome to our base building guide. This is going to be one of, uh, in a series, kind of open ended, so I don't know how many we're going to do. But we have to go really fast in these videos because I have to go in times four in the actual recordings because they, this recording actually took me a, an hour <laughs> to build everything. So we, we, we don't sit through this for an hour. So just kind of move along with me. I'm going to try to hit every single point that I want to make. And uh, it's, it's going to be pretty fast. So, with that in mind, let's get right into it. <clears throat> We're going to start right off by making a, a smaller town hall. Because I'm getting a lot of questions on, you know, people ask me, look at their base. How, what does it look like? How is it? And I hate telling them, okay, um, now start again. Rebuild everything because you can't have a big square. Um, and so... I want to make a few videos kind of outlining what you need to do what you don't want to do and uh, this isn't the only way to make a base but this is definitely one that works okay first thing is uh, just so you know this is not a technical I did not count out the pieces uh, I'm hoping that I come pretty close uh, this is like a town hall six here got one air defense one mortar one wizard tower all three of those are kind of the elite defenses at these lower town hall levels so you want to center your elite defenses. Uh, if you notice, we start off. I start off every single base build the same way. We start off by putting the clan castle in the middle. The reason why we put the clan castle in the middle and not town hall is because the clan castle is actually the strongest defensive piece that you'll ever have on your base, especially at the lower t town hall levels. If you're in a clan, if you're not in a clan, then you d don't just disregard this because the clan castle is just an empty building. But if you're in a clan and you can get troops donated to you, you will keep troops in there. If you're in a clan that's level 5 and above, you'll probably have max troops in there. So a, a Town Hall 6, where your defenses are still fairly low level compared to a max defense, your your clan castle troops will be maxed out, so they will be the strongest defensive piece on the, on the board. So you want to put that in the dead center. You want to make it as hard as possible for them to pull those clan castle troops and dismantle them or kill them. Um, at the beginning of the raid and in return when you're attacking that's the first thing you want to take care of uh, I've said this over and over to all the young guys um, You gotta take care of those clan castle troops right away So start off with the clan castle and then build as many compartments as possible That's that's a very important thing. Don't build one compartment. This is my base right here This is actually a base copied from a very very good player. We won't mention who because everyone already knows <laughs> um, This is one. this is the base that I've been working on um We'll just, we'll erase that and we're gonna we're gonna start off the same way that I start every single base build and that's by putting out the, the clan castle in the very middle on that little dot in the middle and then I put out four walls and these four walls those represent the trigger zone for the clan castle now I kind of know where the where the trigger zone is the next thing I always put out and this is always I always put out the air defenses um, now this is going to be a town hall 8 uh, build so there's not gonna be any crossbows no infernal towers or anything like that so um, And again, this is just an example. I, I, I may have the wrong amount of defenses I may have one too many uh, uh, Cannon I may have one too little something. I just kind of put out what I felt was about right and uh, so This is an example to try to show you the do's and don'ts not the technical build it just like this I just want to make sure everyone knows that again um, so and Town Hall 8, Town Hall 7, one of the biggest things you have to worry about are the dragon attack. They will, they'll use those dragons in combination with spells and just kind of plow out most bases unless you're really careful about the way you design them. And the way we design them to help prevent those dragons from this 3 star and everything that they attack is that you'll put the air defenses towards the middle of the base and then on the outside of them you'll surround your air defenses with these storages which are really high hit points so they have to go through these storages while the air defenses are beating them down. It's really effective. Um, only problem with that is that the next attack that they will use on you would be what we call uh, La Lune or the Balloon Attacks. And they'll use Lava Hounds. This is a Town Hall 9 attack. After Town Hall 8, they'll use the, the La Lune Attacks in Town Hall 9. And what they'll do is they use Lava Hounds to go sit up on top of those air defenses. And then they use balloons that will bypass all those storages that have been protecting your air defenses so well. And uh, they'll go right straight to the defenses and, and take out all the defenses. So what we'll do 
while we're still in Town Hall 7, while we're still in Town Hall 8, is we'll start designing our bases to try to prevent those t attacks later on, just so we get used to making them. And we will start lining up all these different defenses that don't really even shoot into the air, right in front of the air defenses. So when the balloons come through, uh, the balloons will have to take out multiple defensive structures in front of the air defenses, and in hopes that by the time the the defenses, ta uh, I'm sorry, the balloons take out the ca the cannon, the mortar, and the arch towers, the air defenses have c cleaned out the lava hounds, and they will start shooting down, shooting down the uh, the balloons. So there's a lot to consider, a lot to take into to account when doing this. So just remember this: the main the main factor, especially when you're at the lower town hall levels, building your bases, is that we're going to use these different structures as shields for our defenses. Uh, a lot of people they they they're trying to protect their loot so much that you're missing the point, or you're kind of um, overlooking the fact that if you protect this, if you are if you put everything that you're trying to save in the middle well the stuff on the outside is more vulnerable and then they'll end up taking all the stuff on the outside which is all your defenses and then you have nothing left but all the loot so they'll end up three starring every time and taking all the loot instead of taking half the loot every time and you defending your base because um, you're gonna sacrifice some of that loot for some of the defense that it's gonna provide for you on the outside of those defenses so the defenses need protection, you protect them with your storages, you protect them with your collectors, you protect them with what we call trash buildings. These trash buildings are what we'll put in front of our defenses to make sure that all of our the troops won't come right straight for our defenses. And again, a big another big point, I don't think I've mentioned it yet, this is the second version of this video by the way, um, the first one came out so good and then it got lost, <laughs> typical. Uh, if you if you look in this base right here, you see there's a bunch of spaces, and all of these spaces are very important. It's not an accident. All these spaces, what they it will do is keep the attacker guessing. They don't know where all the traps are. The traps are going to be a huge part of your defense. We actually have several videos out on on how to use traps in the war base, how to use traps in the home village. But you want to keep a lot of spaces in between a lot of your defenses and a lot of these other buildings because if you pile everything all close together. There's no guesswork, and all they'll have to do is overpower everything. And they can do that just with um, large troops and spells. And so if you see a big square that's slap full of defenses, you can take troops like a giant, which has high hit points, and then follow them up with wizards. And they can use heal spells and rage spells, and they can heal and rage through all of your defenses easily. But if there's a bunch of spaces in between all of the defenses and all the trash buildings, They'll, they'll have this fear factor taking those giants in there because one spring trap can spring these giants right off the map. So they won't be able to just go into, like fearlessly go into any part of your base and attack it. They'll have to spend a lot more time contemplating and guessing. And that's what we want. We want them to try to, we want to make them work for everything they take from us. Alright, here's, here's a bunch of do's and don'ts. I try to do this in every single base building uh, video that I do. Because there's a lot of them, and if you've ever seen any other videos that I put out on base building, this is going to be kind of rep uh, repetitive. But for anyone that's never seen anything like this before, I think it's really important. Um, the first thing, and I'm going all the way back to right, right to the beginning. The first thing you never want to do is put a wall right around town hall. We have things that shoot over the walls, so you're just wasting those walls. Um, don't put the wall, don't put the walls right around town hall. Also. Um, don't put Town Hall in the corner unprotected. I know that um, there, there are people that will still go out there and trophy hunt just for the trophies and take that uh, corner piece and uh, and then take off and then you save some of that loot. But most of the time, they're going to ignore the Town Hall to the end. They're, gonna, they're going to take Town Hall anyway and then they're going to attack your base anyway. So don't put it in the corner and just give them that easy star. Um, next, the mountains or the woods, do, that, that does not protect your base. So don't back stuff up into the corner thinking that you'll be safe. With walls in front, they'll just come in behind those walls. Uh, they can, they can uh, spawn troops in those woods right there, right behind uh, wh where you'd think the wall, the mountains would protect you, or the woods would protect you. Uh, next, I'm kind of getting behind, but the next one was don't put town hall in the middle of your base and surround it with defenses without any spaces. Uh, we just touched up on that briefly, but you need to have spaces in between all those defenses to keep them guessing. Um, this one right here was you don't want to. Um, Oh, you can't put traps down 
let me see how I want to say this. Okay, traps do not create non-trigger non-drop um, zones. So if you put a bunch of traps down in all next to each other, there'll be able to drop troops there. A lot of people think that oh, I'll, I'll spring a trap on them by allowing them to drop troops in the middle of my base, and then all of a sudden they'll hit all the giant bombs and they'll be dead. No, they'll drop one troop on it, trigger all the bombs, and then they will attack your base normally without all those bombs being there. Now this is a very small version of a base, but again, this is kind of showing. Um, a, a good way to defend against a lot of these air attacks by putting the air defenses uh, Spreading the air defenses out evenly throughout the base and then putting the storages on the outside I know it's a really small square, but that kind of represents the whole base uh, Now this right here. This is a big giant line of your collectors You never want to put your collectors in one giant line because there are people that will go out there and just uh, and, and hunt for just the resources and they'll go in and they'll drop their queen for example they'll raise the queen up and the queen will take everything that's in those collectors and let's move on to the next base you don't want to leave yourself as a target like that spread out all those collectors throughout the whole base this is another very common mistake people make is they put town hall in the middle they surround town hall we already talked about this but they surround town hall with all their collect all their storages and they figure um, that, that that's the safest place for them but the, people will get to the core of the base, take all the stuff, and then they've got everything. You, you want to divide all that up evenly throughout the base to make them take 100% of the base to get 100% of your loot. Now this is another, this is not, um, this is not a mistake. This is something that's very common, and it, it actually works well. And what this is, is having a square in the middle, and then having another giant square on the outside of the base. And what this does, uh, it allows uh, an area for all the troops to go to outside of the middle. So they'll end up going around the whole exterior of the core. And if you have defenses in the core, like our, like um, the crossbows or something that does a lot of damage, by the time they take out everything on that exterior wall, they may not have enough power left to get into the middle and take out the middle. There's been a lot of cases where um, you'll take everything and you'll leave that one dark elixir storage in the middle. That last one that we literally just flew through was putting all of your um, elite defenses all grouped together where one freeze spell can freeze everything. You want to make sure those things get separated enough to where they can't use one spell to affect them all. In this example, it's very similar. Uh, putting the air defenses too close so they can use one earthquake to affect every single one of those air defenses. Then they use uh, the lightning spells and they'll be able to maximize their spell usage by using spells on multiple defenses. And then we showed where... The, um, the, the air pushers were in the corner of the base pushing into the woods with really uh, the, not enough area for it to be effective. You don't want to put anything on the corner of the base and then have it pointed towards the woods because they just won't spawn from that one little part of the base. And, uh, and, and that's an, just an ineffective defense that you have. You want to make sure that your sweepers are pushing through the entire base. A lot of people put them back to back in the middle and have them blowing in opposite directions. Uh, that's common. A lot of people put them on opposite sides of a storage and have them blowing in opposite directions. Just make sure that they're not on the edge blowing at three tiles and they're only effective for those three tiles. Now this base design is actually very common. This is when you overpower one side of the base and with air defenses and over overpower the other side of the uh, base with ground. Because in a war attack, what will happen is uh, attackers will come in and they'll take out the air defenses with ground troops and then they'll attack the rest of the base with air troops. And this is kind of a defense mechanism against that. Everyone knows that this is a trap and yet it's still hard to, to, to manage it even though you know it's a trap because you'll go into the bottom part of this particular screen with ground troops to take out those air defenses and there's so many traps down there that affect the ground troops that your, troops, your ground troops get beat up. A lot of times they won't take out all the air defenses and they'll have one left. And then you'll go through the other side with the balloons and there's so many traps there that the balloons just get mangled and they don't get anywhere. So this is one of many videos. I hope, uh, hope you took something from it. Um, I'm going to make a few more because I have so many questions on how to build these bases. So I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to start off with the small town halls, work our way up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoy making these videos. I'm going to make some more. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.